Welcome to Serenity Ledger's video for this 2005 Swift Contiki. Um, there's uh, the object of the video being made is to give you a very accurate description of the camper and a little bit more detail in, in uh, connection with the photographs and editorial you may have already seen. So Contiki's have fiberglass sides so they don't tend to sort of suffer from awning poles falling against them or any marks. Um, so this one is free of all of those. Uh, you've got a little bit of oxidization on the aluminium sides. It's very common on Contiki's here. Uh, that can be um, um, uh, they're aluminium skirts that run all the way down and uh, virtually every one I've ever had has had the same thing. Either happens around the marker lights or little areas like that but it can be treated if so desired. Uh, you've got the toilet on this side and um, LPG. This one does have uh, like a gas load system on it so it has refillable bottles which is quite handy in particular if you're going to Europe because you can't buy obviously Cala or propane on the continent. Uh, front end's very good. Um, no sort of nasty scrapes or anything on the bumper. Uh, cab condition overall is excellent. Uh, this side got a Fiamma 45S um, awning up there and then one of the big features of this motorhome is its garage. There we go. A lot of space in there. Also houses the internal fresh water tanks. You can see the size of those. They're quite big a lot of room in there very good sized garage oh didn't do that up properly let's do the bottom one first there we go uh, and back end uh, it's obviously a ladder to get up on the roof there's a very slight uh, stress crack here uh, not a crack as such but it's just it's just where the fiberglass has been pushed in very minor but that's again just being brutally honest with its description uh, other than that it's very very good uh, internally so it's a full uh, six berth motorhome so uh, on the Fiat um, 127 brake horsepower 2.8 Ducato electric window central locking power steering all that sort of standard stuff these are captain's chairs and they will both swivel to integrate into the lounge hence the little yellow uh, buttons on them and then up here you just simply pull this down and that reveals see your big over cab bed Lots and lots of room up there. Push it out of the way when you're driving. Oh, sorry, when you're not using it, and it just gives a lot more headroom into the um, living quarters. So this is like an L-shaped sofa, but that centre section comes out if you want it to, um, so that you can carry two passengers here, and then it uh, uh, quite simply, obviously, they can get their legs on the ground whilst travelling. Always just leave it made up into a big sofa. Um, a nicely well-equipped kitchen, full-size oven, grill. Um, condition of the hob. Uh, this is microwave cupboard if you want to put one up here. So that just goes back like so and stays in place. Uh, it's got the electrics and everything for that if you want to. Um, extractor fan with a spotlight built into it. Um, plenty of sort of storage space. And then moving to the back, that's your television cabinet up there. That just slides open. The TV then just comes out on this, on this um, mounting position. Uh, it's, we fitted a new fridge freezer to it because the other one uh, has already had its habitation service done um, but the other fridge freezer for some reason well, we couldn't get it going so we've put a new one in there and um, that's the sort of latest style with the big freezer box um, which can be removed so you can get more um, I was about to say wine but of course not uh, so you can get more cold drinks in there. Excellent. Uh, and then moving to the bedroom right at the back so you've got a step here to get up You've got an area here, mirror, drawers, etc. And then um, two windows, so you don't get that feeling of claustrophobia again. Same as on the bed above the cab. And mattress is in really nice condition as well. Uh, and finally, your bathroom. Um, so you've got a sort of separate shower here. Put the camera down so you can have a look at it. Separate integrated shower, the duck board on the bottom, uh, Tetford electric flush toilet, and then sink, all with hot and cold running water. So a good bathroom, and again, all the plastics and everything inside are very nice. Generally, sort of showing signs of having been cared for this camper, um, but they are very popular with Contiki's. As I said, the one with the garage, this particular one, is quite rare. Um, there you go. Okay, hope you find that helpful. That completes 
Serenity Ledger's video for this 2005 Swift Contiki.